hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'll be sharing with how you how to paint fruits realistically for that i've chosen five fruits this video is like a parting gift from the year 2022 for you all thank you all for supporting me and liking these videos let's get started first off i'll be drawing a sketch of the apple very very lightly draw the sketch it barely should touch the surface so we'll be drawing it like that and uh, normally i'll stop sketching here i'll just draw the stem and that's it but right now i'll show you the places that i'll highlight later on so this is where we will highlight later on we are going from light to dark so we'll start with the lightest shade of crimson it has a lot of water in it so it's very very light just barely there as you can see so i'm just outlining the areas and remember the highlights i'm not touching that we want to keep the highlights as white as possible so that they'll pop off later on as you can see i've covered it in the light shade of crimson and gradually will build up the color here now i'm just adding more color for that i'm using more of the pigment and less water in that way the color it becomes more opaque and less translucent and uh, that's how we build up the layers so as you can see i'm just trying to shape up it in the shape of an apple and uh, that's it let me show you the colors real quick this is our base color that i'm using lightest crimson and here we have the crimson with the shade of brown and i'll use this color very gently to color the stem because the apple is still wet so i'm leaving it as such to dry and then we'll add layers as i'm letting it dry i'll work on the watermelon so as you can see i'm sketching watermelon just draw a triangle here i'm just giving it some height and width for 3d effect as you can see and just follow my sketch for your own painting if you want keep this as a ref so in this case i'm i'll be erasing the sketch because keeping the sketch as it is it doesn't make sense to and i prefer it that way it's cleaner but you can keep the sketch as it is there's no issue with that just the personal preference after that i'm again starting with the lightest shade of crimson just like i did in the apple that's the exact same shade so i'm working here as you can see i'm drawing a triangle and then i'll fill it in to that i'll add some random spots of color a darker color so that it doesn't feel like like a white wash or something and uh, this it will build up the character of the painting and it gives it a realistic feel again go to the lighter shade and remember the sketch and i'll paint the lighter shade on the base again as you can already see it gives a bit of a 3d effect right after that for the base we're using sap green and uh, yellow so this is the color that we'll be using draw the two dots and then connect them that's the only thing that we have to do here Okay, there, that's done. So we try and make the distinction between the two areas of the watermelon, but we don't want to be too obvious about it. So be very light and gentle. We need a dark green color for our watermelon base. For that, we add sap green with ultramarine blue. So as to get the dark green and here we are trying to do the wet on wet technique and make some base shades. This dark green shade gives us the areas that are at the bottom of the watermelon. So we alternate between the darker shade and a bit of a lighter for this one and make the adjustments. Now that the fleshy part of the watermelon is a bit damp, we add another layer of red color. It's the same color, just more pigmented, and uh, we make these random shapes, and we just blend them out a bit, and that's it. Now we go back to work on an apple painting, and here we use the wet and dry technique, so as to highlight our areas and uh, add a uh, darker pigment. Here you will see the reason that I told you to keep the white as such because as I add the pigment that white color becomes more prominent it's just a play of colors so that's how it's done 
case we don't want to perfectly blend our colors in fact our goal is to keep some of the colors unblended so that will give us the 3d effect that we are after to get the painting an extra depth and a layer of shadows we add a bit of a blue to it using sap green we add a leaf to the apple painting so that's what i'm doing adding a leaf try to do it like i'm doing it so that way it will be very easy for you too last we have a fun part that i love painting a lot because it gives it a very realistic feel this is a shadow make it like the shape of an object that you are painting and use a complementary color like all or a very nude color like a gray or something so i'm using right now a bluish gray to that i'm using this color to give a yellow shade to an apple to make it more realistic these are very tiny details that i'm adding but they make a very huge difference okay guys this is my tissue <laughs> we're completing the apple painting we go back to the watermelon and here right now the base layer has fully dried down so we are now again using the wet on dry technique that I'm, that are used in apple so here again the saturation of color is changed the pigment is added more and now i'm dabbing with all those things that i did in base layer but i'm doing it in a very darker shade right now using the tone of color the opacity of a color to make it more realistic the back portion is a bit of a lighter shade and the front is more darker as you can see so that's how we are achieving the 3d effect same method for the base i'm adding a little more of a blue to my original sap green here again using a bluish gray color i add a shadow i'll show you a very cute way to paint a strawberry so just paint a little heart inside a big heart and then erase the little heart this is the uh, i am using just plain water to make this kind of design see only water is here nothing no paint then we are adding a pigment to it and due to the wet and wet technique this will flow according to the water that we have already drawn there using a brush adjust this so that the water is flowing outwards paint it towards the outer direction and then paint the core with the lighter shade again same shade after that build up the color using a much saturated pigment and so that uh, it will define the painting strawberry aside now with pure black add the seeds to a watermelon so add it randomly not at some particular basis so that way it will be more natural using the lightest shade of green i'm adding the leaves here so that green is very opaque now for the highlights or for the vibrancy i'm saturating the green but i'm using the wet on wet technique here so that the flow of color will be good letting the base layer dry i'm adding the more saturation of the color more pigment so as to build up the layer and then the same way as i did with other fruits i'm adding i'm adding the shadow also this is the fleshy part of the strawberry the inside fleshy part not the outer side so that's why i painted it like this now for a fourth fruit we are sketching a pear for that think of it as a light bulb or if not that think like i'm making the cylinder for the upper half and a semicircle for the lower half that way it will be very easy it's very very easy to sketch something when you break it in parts that way the sketching process becomes less complicated now using this color like a yellow here for a pear painting here i'm just adding this color to a pear that i have sketched just for the base so there's nothing only the i'm only filling it with color no other thing is done here just i'm changing the tone of color somehow after i'm done adding the yellow i add the details with my crimson red even as the pear is wet i add the stem and two leaves to the stem here i intentionally try to merge one of the leaves with the pear flesh part of the pear you'll see that in my second leaf many times i'm asked why would i do that that's so weird but it makes the painting more realistic try it in your paintings and you'll see the difference 
but don't overdo a watercolor painting that way you will suffer from the consequences like curse of watercolor later this is the shadow part that i did in all the painting. after this painting is fully dry i am adding these tiny details to make it more realistic for the last painting i'm doing a fig painting it's um sketching a fig it's a bit difficult so for that just follow the sketch that i'm making do it like that here in this one keep the perspective in order otherwise it will not look right I'm starting off with crimson but to this i add i add a different shade of red and yellows to make the inner fleshy part of a fig for the outer part i'm using this magenta color i get it from blue and red and that's how i do it the outer part i'm using the lightest shade of magenta but for inner that i'm doing right now i use the dark shade but it's used after that part is dry so that is wet on dry technique so after this is added to give it the details these are the details that i'm adding so that it will make me so that it will make the painting look more realistic and here this is how i do it follow these steps very carefully i'm very difficult to understand i mean it's very difficult to explain all these things so i think you should follow this in this step i'm adding the lightest shade of burnt amber to make it look more fleshier so i'm trying my best to make you understand all the steps i hope you understand these things but then now it's again my time for the my favorite part so this is the again the shadow that i'm adding so i'm here you can see it's more bluish now i'm using the watercolor out of the tube to add the highlights to my painting painting all of these here i'm adding the highlights to the watermelon first the seed part also you can do with uh, white acrylic too that's also all right but i'm using right now the watercolor also here in the fig part i'm adding these highlights as you can see here i'm adding some more details to the fig until i feel satisfied all of these fruits are done so to conclude in this video i showed you how to paint an apple a watermelon strawberry a pear and a fig i tried to explain them in as much detail as i possibly could so i hope you try these out and happy painting also if you have any questions kindly ask in comments yeah that's it from my side today see you soon also do subscribe to my channel and like this video.